Dorothy Quincy Hancock Scott 1747 February 3, 1830, was an American hostess, daughter of Justice Edmund Quincy of Braintree in Boston, and the wife of founding father John Hancock. Her aunt, also named Dorothy Quincy, was the subject of Oliver Wendell Holmes' poem Dorothy Q. She was raised at the Quincy homestead in what is now Quincy, Massachusetts. The house in which she lived has been designated a National Historic Landmark, and is known as the Dorothy Quincy House. She married John Hancock, who presided at the formation of the Declaration of Independence in 1776 and was two-time governor of Massachusetts. In 1775, their first child, Lydia, lived less than a year. In 1787, their son, John George Washington Hancock, was ice skating in Milton, M.A. and died as a result of drowning through the pond ice at age 8. In 1796, after Hancock's death in 1793, Quincy married Captain James Scott, who had been employed by Hancock as a captain in his trading venture with England. They lived in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and had no children together. When Captain Scott died, Dorothy moved back into the Hancock Mansion at 30 Beacon Street in Boston for about 10 years. After that time she lived at 4 Federal Street in Boston. Dorothy was a well-known hostess and a great deal was written about her. Many chroniclers of the time note that she was beautiful, well-spoken and intelligent. She witnessed the Battle of Lexington while staying with her future husband's aunt, Lydia Hancock, at the home of Rev. Jonas Clark. When Hancock told her after the battle that she could not go back to her father in Boston, she retorted, Recollect Mr. Hancock, that I am not under your control yet. I shall go to my father tomorrow.